Hello, my name is Dr. Desmond Quack. I'm a Senior Consultant Ophthalmologist and Director of Glaucoma Services at Eagle Eye Centre. Glaucoma is a disease of the optic nerve. The optic nerve is an electrical wire that connects the eye to the brain. In this electrical wire, there are 1 million smaller nerve cells, each of which is responsible for one area in your field of vision. At the front of the eye, there is a 360 degree drainage system that brings water that is produced within the eye out of the eye. In glaucoma, the drainage system malfunctions and as a result, fluid is unable to be sent out of the eye. It accumulates within the eye, leading to high eye pressures. And the high eye pressure presses against the nerve and leads to nerve damage. And as the nerve is damaged, the area that you see starts to shrink irreversibly. The majority of cases of glaucoma are without symptoms in the early to middle stages of the disease. This is because as the pressure gradually builds up within the eye, the loss of vision first starts from the periphery before affecting central vision. By the time the patient presents with blurring of vision, where the glaucoma has affected the central vision, it is usually very late in the disease. In some cases of glaucoma, the pressure rapidly builds up within the eye. The patient will present with immense headache, eye pain, blurring of vision, redness, as well as nausea and vomiting. This is a medical emergency as eye pressure needs to be rapidly lowered to prevent irreversible blindness. Glaucoma is diagnosed by an ophthalmologist after careful examination of the intraocular pressure, the optic nerves, as well as conducting other tests such as a visual field examination. The main aim of treatment of glaucoma is the lowering of the pressure within the eye. This can be achieved by various methods such as the use of eye drops, laser or surgery. The most appropriate treatment would depend on various factors such as the type of glaucoma as well as the patient profile. There are various risk factors for glaucoma. These include the presence of a family history, extreme long-sightedness or short-sightedness, uncontrolled hypertension or diabetes, as well as the usage of other medications such as steroids. Injury to the eye or any form of surgery may also predispose you to secondary forms of glaucoma. Remember that the majority of cases of glaucoma are without symptoms until very late into the disease. To prevent irreversible visual loss, if you have a family member with glaucoma, are worried about glaucoma or just want to find out more, do approach an ophthalmologist as soon as possible.